can't sleep, gotta build There's a ground that needs to be drilled And all I wanna do is dig From the Dead Workers Party A podcast about all things Minecraft Enjoy your stay in the shaft the Shaft, episode 110, recorded on December 2nd, 2012. I'm Brent Kovalin. I am Wes Wilson. And I'm Eric Fullerton. And today we have uh, three wonderful gentlemen. Three guests. Three hat films in the house. Oh, woo. Woo. Go us. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're great. Yeah, go you. Yeah. yeah. So you guys just got back from exciting Minecon as well and have come here to rub salt in our poorly dressed wounds. It was so good. Quick, grab the salt. So, so good. good. It's so like the best time fun. of my life. Yeah. Ever. I don't think that chance will ever come up no. again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, my spleen, you're hurting it. <laughs> they told him it was the last Minecon. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no way. <laughs> so, so, so uh, what was your favorite part of the entire convention? All of it. I mean, the whole thing. It was, it was all perfect. It was too good. <laughs> the, main, the main area, like where the opening was, we enjoyed the opening quite a lot for obvious reasons. Um, we did the intro video. Uh, which was very loud, um, yeah. but the actual hall this year where it was based was so epic and, I don't know, really, really enjoyable to be yeah. in there. It was like a, a square stage and there were chairs all around it, degrees. like 360. It's crazy. Did you like, get, awesome. like the old Def Leppard concert. Yeah, did you get yeah. lifted yeah, up on exactly like that? Exactly. We had the same sound system. It was like a yeah. big concert as well. So. Awesome. We were wearing similar clothes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you get lifted up from beneath the stage while fireworks oh, went off? Fish. No smoke. We asked for wires. <laughs> Like to Why come not? down on, yeah. and Trot wanted one of those double guitars. But yeah. <laughs> did, did the drummer have one arm? <laughs> yeah. So they tried. They tried to green screen out. We arm. couldn't actually find a one-armed guy, so we had to get a bit um, hacksawy. Creative. <laughs> oh, cheaters! What about cheaters? Yeah, we cheated. Sorry. <laughs> so y'all did a panel there, and it is available on YouTube. And I just watched it last night. Right. Yep. And uh, you got booed a lot, didn't you? People hated yeah, you, didn't they? Awful. 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 Yeah, Did you see the bit at the end of the tear gas? Yes. <laughs> yes. Who could control it. The police had to fight those people off of you to keep them from beating you within an inch of your life. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, they hate well, we great. got out unscathed. So. Yeah, that's good. Just, that's good. Oh, I mean, we lost an eye. Well, well, you are you're very you're very fit people, so I can I can see how this worked out. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't bad. I, I think he's hitting on you or something. <laughs> oh, no. I'm always not again. Not again. <laughs> I, I'm 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 always hitting on the on the on the dreamy uh, Trotimus. He's just so dreamy. <laughs> A few more words. Come on. He'll tell you more about it after the show. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get you alone somewhere. And if y'all, uh, for the people who don't know Hat Films, which are relatively few, I'm sure, in the audience here, uh, uh, they, they do a sure. lot of the, uh, or all the videos for the uh, releases for uh, Minecraft, of course. And uh, y'all did a, a big one for the uh, Minecon. How long did y'all uh, take doing that one? <laughs> uh, a week, I think. It was we like didn't get long. Yeah, we, didn't get, we, we, had a week, we had a week to do it, so we uh, used pretty much every day of that week to get it. And that's crazy, because it was tipped. a pretty long... How long did it end up being the whole thing? Oh, well, so it, what was the original cut? The original cut was just over 10 minutes, and <laughs> I just kept trimming at it, and then we got it down to 7 minutes and 23 seconds or something like that. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's crazy. Um, I think that's when they need to be put up on the side. It's kind of like the age of, you know, ages through Minecraft. It, it, it yeah. was from the last one. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. a lot to cover. It's like Minecraft 1.0 to 1.4. It's basically, a lot of stuff. Basically, the brief that Lydia gave us was just do a video that shows how far or, or where Minecraft has come. Oh, or, or where, <laughs> God, where <laughs> Minecraft okay. has got to yeah. over the last year. So, like, we'll show all the changes. So, yeah, we started with the end of the first video we did. And, yeah, like you say, continued on yeah. to 1.4.5. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So, you are you beginning to resent Mojang for these terrible deadlines? <laughs> we've never. Had they've, a good, they've given us more time yeah, this, this time. This was a big this one. Is yeah. the most, <laughs> this is the most time we've had. So, yeah. I think I think it's hard to resent them when they bring you up on stage in front of loads of people and take you to awesome parties and. <laughs> it's, an, it's an absolute privilege yeah. for us. I don't and, know. Uh, Lydia is really nice to work with as well. So yeah. Big, star great. big stars like you are becoming prima donnas, though, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trot. Um. Trot only wants to champagne. Yeah, nonstop champagne, and he he had he had his own toothbrush in yeah. um in his room, Gold plate and he too. asked for every third hair on the brush to be removed. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm not allowed to speak. I have a spokesman 
Alex Smith to speak for me. Yeah. There's too much air wasted. <laughs> <laughs> It can get tricky. <laughs> it does get awfully strange, especially in toilets. <laughs> and who came up with oh, the? Are you talking to people in toilets anyway, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> who came up no, with the uh, the panel oh, name? Uh, the genius that is Hat Films. Uh, Lydia. Oh, uh, Lydia. Tyler. Yeah, they um, we we read it and we're like, okay. <laughs> we're like, oh god, what we expect to do now? That's, that's a lot of hype there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But sorry, we had our one-armed drummer to fight our way to our panel, so... <laughs> See, that's really in comparison to the panel we had at MineCon which, w- number one, which was, well, I guess it's those Shaft guys if you want to go see them. I, it's really... The whole presentation just has a different feel to it. Yeah. I guess yeah. it does, yeah. Well, yeah. They went all out this year. Yeah. yeah. Less budget, like, really upset the today. You guys don't require as much way? selling. Like, we yeah. really had to trick people to come. Please come to our panel. Like, yeah. yeah. Geniuses are there. What? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. They're really oh, point. they're genius. That explains why they're so weird. Yeah. Right, yeah. So I get a lot that of redstone questions. <laughs> and the two guys. Redstone yeah. questions. Like, how to make this or that. Yeah. 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 Actually, the yeah, main question. Is, right? I, yeah. I think the main question that got asked at least four or five, maybe 20 times was, what would you add to the game? I think that was everyone's favorite question to ask you, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we actually didn't really have anything prepared. We didn't have cool answers either. It'd be like Just camera like, stuff, yeah. more filmmaking sort of, not like dragon. You had a dragon one, didn't you? I had economies. Oh, and also economies. I wanted ender dragons in, in the main world to just destroy things. But then they'd answer the question, and then somebody else would step up and go, "So, what would you add to the game?" Yeah. <laughs> and were like, oh, that's a good one, actually. That's right. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's a new question. Yeah, so. yeah, it's fine. He might not have heard him. So, what update would you see happening to the game that Re- hasn't happened yet? Um, <laughs> that's a rephrase question. It's not the same. I guess I'm going to go with the one I said a minute ago. Yeah. Well, what do you think the game needs? What would, would you know? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, I'm really, I'm really oh. glad you asked that one. Oh man, it's um, so different. <laughs> well, and now that we have you guys on air, we, we really wanted to ask y'all, what do y'all want to see next in the game? <laughs> oh, oh, good yeah, question. Nice. Glad that's you asked some new questions. Oh, that really like caught that. us off guard there. It's difficult. <laughs> but we've, that's, already, we've got the answer written here. It's we'll fine. save we that for... It's a perfect game. We don't need anything else. Yeah. That's it. That's we'll perfect. save that for another segment. Yes. <laughs> Anyway. That flourish. The flourish. Beautiful. It's all about the flourish. Very nice. Dad Jennies. That flourish. Every journey. Every journey. So the first thing we need to uh, uh, mention is, uh, of course, every episode now is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting, who has uh, saved us from uh, being off air. They are now hosting the actual podcast itself and some servers, and you can go get your own server from them. That's mcprohosting.com. Use the code Shaft Podcast to get 15% off your order. Uh, we also have some awesome uh, sponsors of this show itself. We've got four individuals today. The first one here is Nitro. Check out Max and Larry Minecraft Machinima. Max and Larry Minecraft Machinima. It's sort well, of alliterative. They kind of snuck that one in. I know, yes. Boy. And you go to YouTube slash World Goon Squad. And that then, is kind of sneaky. Yeah. Uh, I need to read these better. Anyway, Mr. <laughs> Mapple. <laughs> Says, well, I'm still here. Less than three. <laughs> <laughs> Less than three. And total dash D four. You want to read that one? Uh, he says, the shaft always comes up a natural twenty on my daily roll. And then last <laughs> but not that, least, what does that mean? <laughs> natural 20s but but a daily what? roll like he rolls daily and uh, he gets a 20 when he rolls the shaft oh, okay but cool. isn't that really low no no not in D. a 20 is is a critical hit oh uh, uh, i'm thinking wow sorry no he totally critted them cool, yeah cool. Uh, <laughs> crit and then of course mr vorland who says i googled dead workers party and google gave me the shaft Nice. <laughs> so that's always good. And then, that of course, nice, that's really good, actually. <laughs> we have some uh, server sponsors this week. Uh, the Watershed at mc thewatershed.net. They have a 2,500 kilometer square kilometer survival RPG world with YouTube adventures and more. So go check them out. Every kilometer is square. Yes. No, no digging around. Next, we have terracrafters.co.uk, a friendly PvP server with fresh map, townie, mob arena, dine map, and MC MMO. 
It's a lot of stuff I haven't tried before. I know. We should so go. go over there and try it. And while you're at it, go ahead and uh, type in www.creepercraft.us. Uh, Creepercraft is awesome. It's got a 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer world and factions. Join today at creepercraft.us. And lastly, we have the lordbones.com. Uh, actually, it's just lordbones.com, not the Lord Bones. Uh, for weekly Minecraft videos, this week, Apocalypse uh, 2012 finale, and as always, cinematic playthroughs. And go and check out Lord Bones. That's, uh, he supports us every week, and uh, we're big fans. Yeah, go uh, to lordbones.com. It'll take you straight to hey, his uh, YouTube. Sweet. And uh, now into our journey. So everyone over there at the Hat Films house, uh, what have y'all been up to after the post mine con? Y'all been uh, reveling getting in the fact that we were in Paris for so long. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> I'm gonna find people who didn't go and tell them that we went. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, you know that and we... trying to get the taste of tear gas out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been crashing and burning, really. Yeah. <laughs> in reality, well, we, we haven't put that much out, really. Have we? We've, been, we've been we've good. been desperately trying to organize ourselves to some coherent filmmaking house again. Yeah, we've only just moved in in this place together, so this is all new. And uh, he smells really bad. Odor was never a problem <laughs> on Skype. <laughs> well, what do you what do you call this? Is so it like shamed. is it like that the, the hat hut or something or? Yeah, this is the thing. We don't really know. Like we ha we had chateau for a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. The chateau. <laughs> yeah, then we can move in. Something else. Yeah, can we move in? Do you have like a basement? Yeah, or something? come on in. <laughs> Yeah. We've got Are, one spare room. Yeah, we've got one spare room, which has currently got a green screen in it. But that means you can imagine you're anywhere, not yeah. just a tiny room with some green felt. Well, we could just wear, like, green pajamas. You wouldn't even yeah. know we're there. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, go, yeah. Go just wander around in the shop behind us, and it's just, like, not a problem. So. <laughs> you go into film, and in the background of every scene... <laughs> We might raid your fridge from time to time. Yeah, we might stand right. up and do a little dance in our so green screen. Like he eats all our food anyway. We can rig up some elaborate booby traps for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A little tripwire. <laughs> you had me at booby. <laughs> <laughs> so He's got six. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat. Are they uh, like uh, dinner plates? No. Anyway, dinner plates. Huh? They're not yeah. like dinner plates, no. He sort of sleeps on his side like this. It's like you go in and he's like... So, so you guys just came back like y'all being all familial over the weekend, correct? Did you did, did, like with your what families? You yeah, ignore him. He's got big words. You're, he you're, likes with, to pull you're out. with you're with your families, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, we I wasn't. I was home alone here. Well, yeah, we, we we've been away seeing various yeah people. Our families. Were you? So. Were, Chot, Chot's been here editing away like a little bee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, editing B. Got exciting stuff coming up. Really? Yeah. What have you got coming up? You know Far UK? Yep. Yes. Yep. Of course you do. Um, an epic adventure. They built a whole map for us. Yeah. And uh, they've actually completed the final stage now, and I've just edited together the first episode of us returning to that map. So that's so that'll be coming back. When, and, when are we putting that out tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, and yeah. then Ooh. the map's going to get released when we complete it, and it's a, an amazing map. D well, that's Ooh, just it. Like, want to do it? I, that's just it. I I started watching your first episode, and then I went, wait, I might want to do this map. I don't want to watch the playthrough before I play it. <laughs> well, it should be out before yeah. well, for Christmas. I think Fire yeah. are doing an announcement trailer, aren't they? For They've when, done one for when it's an uh, announcement trailer, yeah. and then when it's out, eventually, I'm sure they roll out something else saying. It's available for download, but yeah, so everybody will be able to play it once. Um, it's awesome. Once the guys put it out, and we've really ruined it as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we missed lots, bits as well. We've missed a lot. Well, yeah, we you, we're purpose. very inept as as, oh, yeah. as players. That um, sounds like fun. <laughs> like, it is. Yeah, it's awesome. It's we need really to get the six of us on a map and destroy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. It's designed it's for three, but we can maybe go on shoulders or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome though it's so big and like the, the bills that they make obviously it's far UK are ridiculous are crazy and now the second part of it that they've just released it was starting to play now has got the the improved build height the anvil build uh, the anvil style what's it called engine anvil engine uh, I guess so. calling it that um, so yeah basically it's, it's huge 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 they used the full build height in one of the builds on it for mm. example nice. which is crazy well very awesome. cool well, well we Oh, go on, uh, Wes. What did you say, do this week? Uh, well, I've been working on more Mayan, uh, Mayan Madness, and uh, and we did some of that, and uh, and I have finished up, I think we're about halfway through it, with eight episodes, and uh, it's going well, 
And if you want to check that out, you can go to uh, DW Party on deadworkers.com. Deadworkers. We'll take you right there. Yeah. 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 So that's I'll go right now. You should do it. <laughs> and subscribe. I'm right. I don't have my phone. Oh, he's Clicks. desperately looking for his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. And then other than that, I just played some games with Eric this week. Yep. yep. What sort of stuff are you playing? There's been some pretty big releases recently. Oh, yeah. 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 It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, no, we play uh, word games on... uh, (laughs) What was that game we played? (laughs) Well, like like Minesweeper or something. Uh, uh, Well, like, uh, like... Like draw my thing. Or yeah, draw my thing. It's called draw something. Uh, and uh, oddly enough, know, we live streamed it for hours, and it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, we had like a group of people on Skype playing, and and uh, with the name like draw my thing, I was surprised at how few things were drawn. Yes, <laughs> at least yes. of mine. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, your uh, your um, yeah, search traffic. The shaft do draw my thing. Jeez. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like whoa, NSFW. Well, and then I got I got <laughs> I got hot. Coffee. What you want is very slim. <laughs> <laughs> I got hot coffee for one of my words, you know. And the first mm-hmm. thing as a gamer that comes to my mind when I hear the phrase "hot coffee" is not something you should really be drawing. <laughs> yeah. GTA, GTA but I did, mod, I, if you will. But, but I did draw it the second time that I got that word. <laughs> you got a little R-rated up in there. Yep. Uh, up in here. So I, I've been uh, I've been looking for a lot of Christmas stuff. I found a couple maps uh, that we want to do. Also a Christmas community map that I, I guess we're going to be one of the first to play it and then uh, put it on the channel. We just got finished playing this uh, adventure map that was pretty short. Yeah, like we were in the it, we we're in for the long haul. We had to we had to patch. We had to do the H you know the MC patcher and then we had to get the. Uh, uh, the texture pack, and then we had to fiddle with some controls on the server to get uh, what, uh, like the friendly fire block, off, and the yeah. Com- yeah, command block, and all that stuff. So like all this work. Well, we played the whole map, and it took a lot less time, <laughs> like than twenty it did minutes maybe, to, to get set <laughs> up. <laughs> maybe like, twenty wow. minutes. And we got to the end, and we're like, "Is it? That's it? That's the end of the map?" So, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, anyway, that's always a danger. Like we um we did that once with the first one of the first series we did, Forsaken Lands. It was like a map that we started playing. And we were videoing it, and we we're like building up this epic bit at the end. Like, yes, we're finally reaching the final thing there, and it was just this it's empty, empty wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. It wasn't complete. Fix yeah. it in post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. A lot of these maps, they need a payoff. You know, I mean. Yeah. Well, we they, we they did have a, a a little uh you know. We had we made our guest. own. We made our own payoff at the end. We yeah. had a guest on the episode. Yes, we had a guest from Yogg's cast. Yeah, uh, so. oh, it's nice. it pretty cool. So. La di da. Yeah, la di da. <laughs> oh la la. Uh, so yeah, let's ch- check that out. Um, but uh, so I'm I'm kind of on the hunt for Christmas maps, uh, Christmas mods, anything Christmassy. You know, we want to fill up the channel with Christmas stuff. So on the f- uh, first Christmas of Galel. Yeah, we need to do like a that. Galel Christmas. Uh, so tweet to us. Uh, Christmas maps and stuff. Even if you've made one and you think it sucks and you're embarrassed to give it to us, give it to us anyway. Yeah. We'll have fun with it, really. We don't make fun of maps. No. Not, you know, while we're recording anyway. <laughs> Not publicly. <laughs> yeah. is what yeah. The last one. Uh, uh, he's like, yeah, I'm the one rating the 20 minute map. Yeah. And then, and then, lo and behold, next podcast. And this is a new section. We we call it Rip the Sh out of Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, it could work. So uh, yeah, so I've I've been on the prowl. Do you do you guys know of any good Christmassy stuff going on that you're gonna Not play? Or? Not really. No, we haven't been no. very in the. Christmas I don't feel mindset. Christmassy at the moment. Uh, I really don't. I do. I'm like Father Christmas. He is. <laughs> He's gonna grow the beard and everything. He sneaks in our rooms at night. I sneak <laughs> in their rooms and leave things. Leave little. <laughs> what is this? This isn't a present. It's half a chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> now clean my plate. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> Yum. You want to get but pink no, guy I mean, that um, way? Yeah. I guess we'll maybe... We'll do some Christmassy stuff. Over we'll here, some. Christmas tends to consist of rain. So... <laughs> Yeah, everyone yeah. just feels low. Yeah, everyone just feels depressed for four months and then <laughs> spends a lot of money and then yeah. regrets it in January. But it's great. It's a great gaming season right now. <laughs> like staying inside and playing games is it's great. <laughs> yeah. You know, everyone's depressed and so we play <laughs> games. 
<laughs> you know what? I noticed a, a cool thing that Martin is doing uh, uh, in the little wood. So he kind of rebranded just for the for the month. Uh, kind of has a Christmas feel to his logo. You know, it has snow on on it and everything. And he redid the song, his intro song, uh, with a Christmas feel. So I thought, you know, we we I, I kind of have a, a Christmas DWP logo. We'll put it at the end of our videos just for you know the Christmas. But I was thinking you guys could have maybe a Christmas hat on top of your hat. Oh, would that be cool? Kind of a team huh? fortress thing going on there. Yeah. yeah. Put a little yeah, snow well, I can't on be it. Asked, so we'll just like we'll, we'll just get a, a brush, a white brush, and just, just paint some snow. Oh, on it. it's all do. snowy. <laughs> yeah. And then for every one of our normal intro musics, we're just gonna put jingle like bells, like ching ching, which <laughs> we have done before actually. Yeah. yeah. That'll yeah. do. Move. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Well, yeah. you're yeah, welcome to use that song we we played earlier. Yeah. 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 The hat film song. Yeah. That one really. Because that was brilliant. It's good stuff. So yeah, uh, so that was my week. Just a lot of research and a lot of figuring out. Um, also, something about a new album we're gonna put out, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Later, later, later. Uh, and uh, really, uh, you know, I've been neglecting putting up the last At Brent Copeland episode for some reason. Like I, I don't know why I keep forgetting to upload. Is it a stinker? Yeah. Well, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't as good as I would like to, being so long between episodes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so then dealing with the servers, and like you said, we played today and uh, put up Christmas lights yesterday and found a big old Black Widow in my garage. So nice. Took pictures Whoa. Of it. Whoa. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a lot of fun stuff. Alabama is host to lots of poisonous spiders. It's delightful. Yeah, and we have them both, Black Widows and Brown Recluses in our house. Yeah. Have you guys ever, any of you ever been bitten? No. 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 My sister-in-law was, and she had to have surgery, and she's got this, it looks like a shark bite on her arm. Wow, because like it uh, it metastasizes like the yeah. skin and like eats yeah. it away, and you just see this like black stuff. And the doctor's like, "Yeah, let that run its course and then come back." And so what? she's just sitting there for like a week taking pain medication as this black stuff just goes down her arm, and then That's she goes back and they have a surgery where they go in and they dig it all out and make sure it's all oh. Oh. and then stitch it all up and like oh, half nice. her arm's gone. And why it's would just you? Like, why, why? Weird. You had to ask the question, didn't you? Could, yeah. could you take some of that venom and put it in like a a, a squirt gun and like squirt it at people? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. Weapon. Oh. I mean, that's while she was big. sleeping, I got a syringe and sucked a little bit out and I put it in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a biological weapon. Yeah. God. Yeah. Terrorist. Well, matter of fact, um, I brought I was the, brown. the guys the other day. Actually, I was uh, when I was in Australia, which is the only time I've been in a place that has dangerous spiders. <laughs> I was on a boat with my friend, and my friend got bitten by a spider in the middle of the sea. Ooh. Oh a spider. God. Yeah. Wow. What Weird. kind of spider? And, uh, it was. It had the same sort of thing happened. The venom goes in and rots your arm and stuff. Yeah. It's great. Wow. And I feel bad because I was all just thinking, take a good hard look. At uh, boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. Oh, sorry. Uh, but <laughs> ocean spider. and that is kind of a weird thing. Poisonous spider. Spiders love boats too. I we used to we used to have a boat on the lake here, and uh, and like that's what you had to do every week when you got to the boat was clean all the spider poop off of it. Oh, dude. Because because yeah, and spider poop is remarkably glue like. Really. I've so I've got black widow spiders at my house it's too. It's an ad ad adhesive. Huh? So you could put it in a glue gun and like yeah, attach things. Yeah, you're you're going too far. Oh. I think the most <laughs> dangerous thing we've got in our house is our food waste bin. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all those rotten half chicken breasts, I'm not surprised. Yeah, no, those are all in um, Ross's pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured everywhere had something deadly you had to watch out for, at least snakes or spiders. But no, nothing there. Huh? No, not at all. Not at all. I, I think not. we get the the grass snake. We get grass. Well, we, we got know, pagans. We, I, mean, I think the only venomous thing we have is um, uh, adders, which are a form of viper. Yeah, but mm -hmm. they're not deadly. They they'll just poison you and make you feel really sick. You got you got dangerous pagans over there, right? <laughs> dangerous what? Pagans. <laughs> pagans. <laughs> they put things full of bees on your head. Anyway. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, yeah, Working yeah, with. definitely. <laughs> it's around Stonehenge, though, so it's all right. Yeah, it's, it's quite Stonehenge. a local problem. <laughs> you just speed up as you drive by. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know something else you speed up and drive by, and that would be from the Minecraft Daily news and updates. So first, we've got the great Lego Minecraft shortage of 2012. Yes, you got to add the date. What? Forbes has reported that anyone wanting to buy Minecraft Legos for their kids or themselves this Christmas is going to have a really hard time of it. The popularity of the sets has apparently created a shortage. 
So opportunistic sellers on Amazon are offering sets for 120 to 130 bucks. No. And let me tell you, my wow. kids were really upset when I grabbed their Legos from them and said, "No, need to make some extra Christmas money, kids." <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, no mine, no Lego for you. One year. Man, that's crazy. That where, sucks. Where are those getting Just seizing uh, assets? Where are those Why getting manufactured? I want some Lego. I want some. Like, can't I'm not they, paying 120 dollars. Can't they get it like manufactured in China or something and speed it up? I I, um, I think they're all Norwegian. Oh yeah, you can have Legos. Sources, China. Yeah, are they? Aren't they? Aren't they Norwegian? Aren't they Swedish? I think Swedish? you're making stuff up at this point. Should I'm we just go sure. Scandinavian and just you know hit yeah. it with a nice wide berth? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I think it is because I I never I I forget the difference between Norway and Sweden all the time. Uh oh. Could be Finland as well. It could. I think it's Swedish. I think it's yeah. Swedish too, but that's just a guess. I don't know what it is. Mm. But yeah. no, but but le- and on, and. Google it. Legos take a while to make. It's I mean. Danish, apparently. It's da- uh, the guys in the comments are saying it's Denmark. Oh. Denmark. Yeah. Damn it. Denmark. Okay, so Denmark. talking about deadly stuff here, we got uh, in New Zealand where they have deadly snakes all over the place, I think, right? Yeah. yeah anyway, totally. they uh, Stonefield School in Auckland, New Zealand, decided to involve their students in the design of planned expansions to the school. And the kids suggested using Minecraft rather than pens, paper, and Legos to help with the design. The school agreed, and it's proved to be a popular decision with students arriving at school early to work on the designs as well as continuing their projects on their own machines. <laughs> and then Astragali added a really cynical note. And he said, this is a very clever way to get design work done for nothing. <laughs> Basically, child exploitation. Yes. Warms the heart. I know. <laughs> get to work, kids. Learn your, <laughs> learn your architecture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we also got some news here from uh, uh, Mojang uh, talking about the modding API. Jeb, Dinnerbone, Grum, and Evil Sef have been discussing the upcoming uh, mod API in detail. And Sasha Varel at the Minecraft Forums has put together a clear and concise summary of what they revealed, which we will, of course, link to in the show notes. One of the important announcements on the page is that the client is going to be simplified, shunning the heavy work over the, to the server. And the devs claim that this will improve the performance of SMP. Well, okay. Awesome. So, more nebulous news. Sounds like that'll probably take care of some hacker, hackery, too, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, could. hopefully so. That's a good point. And lastly, Lydia is in Nigeria for the African Futures Roundtable. Yesterday, Lydia flew out of Nigeria to speak at the African Futures Roundtable in Lagos, uh, and Mojang's director of fun will be uh, presenting Mojang at the pre- prestigious event and talking about the company's association with the United Nations and their block by block project. If you remember that, that's where they were um, redoing areas oh, yeah. using Minecraft, predating yeah. the predating the elementary school exploration. Well, and here they can work together and get the kids from New Zealand to uh, use their skills. <laughs> Again, working on that design stuff. Yeah. yeah. I like how this is all going together. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure these are uh, these kids are too busy to learn how to read, so instead of reading, <laughs> they should pick up a book at Audible and go right now to audibletrial.com slash the shaft. <laughs> Huh? A nice like little it. segue there. Like <laughs> uh, and uh, you, too, can get your free trial, a free book, and uh, a choice of a book in over 100,000 titles, uh, free interviews, and a bunch of other goodies. And if you stay a member of Audible, each and every month you'll get another free book. So do it. I've done it. I know a lot of people who have, and everybody has loved it. Audibletrial.com slash the shaft. Once again, to help us out, go on over to audibletrial.com slash the shaft time for listener contributions listener contributions listener contributions listener contributions listener contributions yeah yeah that's still the best shuns i've ever heard it's got jazzy beat yeah yeah, <laughs> and you kind of cut me off there. I was going to actually make an audible recommendation. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Well, you remember I recommended that book, um, "John Dies in the End" by yep. David Wong, the craft the the cracked writer. Mm-hmm. Is that uh, the ending? 
And he is there is the a ending. sequel uh, to the book called This Book is Full of Spiders. Seriously, dude, don't touch it. <laughs> and uh, it is also uh, it's, it's narrated by Di- uh, by Nick Podell, and uh, yeah, so you can get that on Audible. So is the book as good as the title? Because um, he's got awesome titles. Yeah, yeah. Like he could just have a bunch of books with nothing in it. Maybe he could cool have titles. a book of cool titles. Yeah. Hey, there you go. This yeah. book has a cool title. You should read it. That should be the title of or his Or listen book. to it on Audible. <laughs> <laughs> AudibleTrial.com slash The Shaft. Yes. <laughs> segway, segway. Once yes, again. exactly. So our first is from Lord Hobajo. Hobajo. And Lord Hobajo says, I would like the ability to change the most recent past version or go all the way back to the days of Alpha and Beta. The different versions could act almost like optional DLC and would give players and servers more freedom to choose what version they would like to, get, to use. Now, I, I, this seems like an excavation station. I know so, it's kind of so. weird, but you know, there's always old like there's the DigiX loader. Yeah, there's um, you can use MC Nostalgia, can't you? Yeah, and that's what yeah. Astragali recommended. Um, yeah. I have not used MC Nostalgia, but. I actually downloaded it before the show but to do our maps today because I had to go go back to one four two and it's it's dirt simple. So uh, cobblestone I mean, easy. I mean these tools, dirt. and now that you can see the version number of the server on the server listings, it makes it much better. Yes. Yep. Because you can now having s- to go through like three or four different tries. Yes, because this shaft lands is still running on one three. Mm-hmm. So there you have it. Okay, so we'll link to MC Nostalgia and some tutorials that are available on Windows and Mac users. Yep. So the next one is from Port. 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 All capital letters. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's an acronym. (laughs) Yeah. Port. Could stand for something. Paul Orville. Redenbacher. Theodore. Second. Uh, Anyway. The the second. (laughs) So, and he wanted. (laughs) <laughs> he he wanted to let us know that there is a city in California named Fullerton. Oh, Thanks. that's right. There Thanks. is Fullerton, California. Yeah, it's in Orange County. Actually, it was founded in 1887 by my great, 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 great. You are a liar. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, but I knew uh, about it. Um, but it, that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's oh, it. Okay. He, de- no. he definitely looks like a conqueror, though. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> fierce. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Astragali added some more details in addition to Port's information. She says there's a Copeland in Australia... It was evidently once a thriving gold town. Really? Yeah, that's where I'm from. And uh, Wilson in Wisconsin. Oh, isn't that cool? They also make um, the unofficial balls. you name for the UK is actually Trot, so that's I understand. Thing. How about that? You know what they say in America, what it means when you get the trots, don't you? Have you heard yeah, that? Yeah, we know. Okay, yeah. let's check in. We, we get the same, it's the same. same expression here. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> He's always got the trots. I've always got it. Constantly. It's awful. It's horrible. I have to follow him around with a bucket. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> and a mop. I don't actually know what it means. <laughs> really? I don't, should I not? No, I don't. Just, look just it up? yeah, don't look it up on the internet. I'll uh, tell you later. Okay. <laughs> don't do it. You know what? Like, all the time, it doesn't work. Got when the trot. You, you tell someone not to yeah, do or something. You got the trots. That helps you, right? Yeah. You got yeah. The Sounds trots. dirty. Sounds painful. It's it's not painful. It just is uncomfortable. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anybody take this next one? Okay, uh, from Brex Games. Did you know that the shaft is mentioned in Minecraft's terms of use? Yes, and we did. Yeah, yes. we did know that. Yeah, it's a it's a Great. little blurb showing you about copyright acceptance, uh, and uh, it was a, a quote saying that basically, if you say the shaft in quotes a Minecraft podcast, it's okay. Yes, but if your product is called Minecraft Hat, you can't sell that. Right. You know. Yeah. So. And it basically comes oh. down to uh, some fair use. So you're a good example. Yeah, yes. So yes. We, we are the example, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if we had called ourselves the Minecraft podcast, then you would have come into issues. But a Minecraft podcast, you're basically saying what the podcast is about, yes. since you can't tell what it's about by the name alone. It's a descriptor. Yes. And so, yes. You just think of something completely different when you say the show. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. We didn't do that on purpose at all. No. <laughs> so the next one is from Venus Javier. And it says, Hey guys. 
Uh, I'm making a map, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out how to get you guys to play it when it's finished. Which brings me to wonder, how do you guys choose the maps that you play? Do you pick it random from a jumble of emails, or do you pick according to popularity? Also, need more nuggets! Yay, great. <laughs> So, uh, well, before we answer this, why don't we uh, ask the hat film guys, how do y'all pick maps yeah, yeah. Bef- to play? It's a pain to close our eyes and scroll the page really fast and <laughs> <Yeah>. then <laughs> stop there. What we actually do is we, we get a load of um, suggestions on paper and then we feed them to a group of chickens we have, right? <laughs> and then they lay eggs, which contain the suggestions. We then put those eggs in the microwave, turn it on, then open the door, and as they explode, we select which select which one comes out. It's a lengthy pro- and expensive yeah. and messy. <laughs> but it's the and biologically, it. and it's biologically improbable. <laughs> yeah. So you guys microwave, but we did the same process, only we deep fry ours. Yeah. Right. Oh, really? Uh, we're in the south. I will yeah. tell you exactly what you can do with a lifetime supply of chocolates <laughs> that's all i can think about is the computer yeah anyway uh so actually we, we kind of talked about this before in the show that uh we we got sent a, a christmas map and we get sent things if, if you make a map that's uh especially for us or if it's exclusive if you say you know here's this map i, I want to put it out but i want you guys to play it first and after you're done i'll, I'll make it live uh in fact we have a we have a uh Let's see, Mayan Madness is, is on our channel right now, and that's a good example because uh, once we're done with it, it'll go live. So uh, so I think those kind of go up in the list a little higher because we know that you've you've at least thought of us when you made it. Uh, but other than now, that... Now, there is um, an exception to that rule. Huh? If you're Paradise Decay and you make a map about Star Wars and you specifically put us into it, uh, yeah. for some reason we won't play that one. Yeah. So <laughs> we're in Rise of the Rebellion. Yeah. But like I, I guess uh, generally a lot of a lot of maps that have uh, you know that kind of piggyback on another uh, IP like such as say I don't know Indiana Jones it's kind of it's kind of borderline because it's not like um, I don't know um, I guess it's not really a parody but we're we're kind of iffy about using somebody else's copyright in our works you know what I mean like Star Wars and- we have we have a film company that is part of our company. Mm-hmm. And we have to be very wary of what we do copyright wise because it can affect more than the three of us. Correct. Yeah. 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 And so, so we, t- we tend to shy away from things, but, but as far as like how we do choose maps, mostly it's, um, do our friends like it? Do we think it's clever? Has it been overdone? Um, and, and do I have to click on a stupid ad fly link or not? <laughs> <laughs> and just get to the yeah. map. Yeah, I guess like if a map has been been done to death, like okay, Herobrine's Mansion. Um, almost everybody I know has, has done this map, and, and that's cool. But I kind of feel like if we put it on there, people will be like, "Oh, I've already seen this five times. I don't want to watch and, it again." And this is really kind of an internal argument because I don't feel that way at all. Like I think we should just do what we want to do, and if other people have done it, then fine. And yeah, and and I just want to do whatever causes the least amount of conflict. So anyway, this next question here from <laughs> Stick JV. Hey, Stick JV here, and as promised, you might remember last week he was the cheater. I mean the the guy who uh, had archery. No, what was that last week? Do you remember? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyway, he was going to reveal some archery secrets, and as promised, uh, here's two of them. The first one, trick one. Shoot one arrow once you have found your camper's hideout to determine the distance, the height, and the time for your arrow to get to your target. This way you know at what height to shoot once an enemy runs by. Right. That's okay. crazy. And the second one, this may sound dumb, but what the heck? Listen to epic music. I'll recommend uh, Extraction <laughs> from Jeff Williams. And if I can't recommend this, choose a song with heavy bass and no lyrics. I recently found out that that trick, and it greatly improves your focus and concentration. And I think there's some science huh. to back this up. <laughs> there actually is. <laughs> Like, what about disco? Like, there, some ABBA. Would that work? I'm pretty sure ABBA <laughs> is the best for split. Let me tell you. Is this guy, like, from a real-life version of Kick-Ass or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but seriously, there there is science behind that. They actually say that listen, listening to upbeat music improves your attention span. It makes you work harder. It does all kinds of great things. Upbeat oh. as in a fast tempo, because... Yeah. 
death metal and speed metal <laughs> might not have the same effect. Well, but I reckon yeah. it. I, I I suspect it would for the right people. And I think yeah, even really. better for concentration and doing well on anything is listening to an audible book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Nice link. Pretty sure. I, mean, <laughs> I don't have any studies uh, handy uh, to back this up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's probably something in there. That'll yeah, be Hat, Hat Films Bandcamp's got some pretty good music on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's scientifically proven. Scientifically, scientifically proven, proven to make your day better. Yeah. Or if you're being chased. Yeah. In yeah. some instances, we have studies. Yes. Yeah, there's one case study. Yeah, he died. Yeah. <laughs> but he liked it before he he uh, loved it he was a whale of a time uh, he just had to go he loved just it. before he could write he, had to go. he was unbearable he, really wasn't he? he loved it to death he liked it too much yes alright next one excavation station yes alright here's uh, things you want in the game uh, hey, uh, by the way, I have a question for Hat Films. Is there anything that you would like to see in the game? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we've got loads, actually. Yeah, we've, got we've, not, we've not been asked this before. Um, um, how about a noose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I've been asked this so many times, I actually don't know what I'd answer. Again. We came up with a good one the other day. What was yeah. it? It was... Uh, mod API? Something like that. Nah, something like a mod API. It was... <laughs> It, Minecraft's it, perfect. We yeah. don't need another mod. Was it, was it, cam- <laughs> was it camera tools? Cam- camera tools? Stained glass? <laughs> Colored water? More hats. Yeah. More, hats, yeah. yeah. <laughs> more po- poisonous spiders, maybe? No, poisonous no, 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 we're fine. No, no, no more poisonous spiders. No more poisonous spiders. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so the first thing we have is wolf-drawn sleighs, and this was submitted by Brené. So what you would do is craft a harness from a piece of string and a saddle and put on a friendly wolf by right-clicking the wolf with the harness. And then you right-click on the wolf with a minecart, and the minecart attaches to the wolf, and you have a wolf-drawn sleigh. Wait, wait. So <laughs> when do they actually draw the sleigh, though? Like, um, do they need pencils? Only on Friday pens? night draw on Oh My God Pop. Draw my, draw my sleigh. Yeah, wolf drawn. <laughs> so I would like. Surely they'd also need to add thumbs to the game then. Yeah, like for the wolves. Yes, yeah. maybe. Yes. And I don't think they thought the development through for this. So <laughs> I actually like this Worst idea. Worst idea ever. No, it, it is. is not. You. No, are... I was talking about the thumbs. Oh yeah, that was. I mean, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm just trying to get over the fact that you're putting a minecart on a wolf. <laughs> yeah. well, you're, Come you're, on! You're Come letting, on! You're letting it's the wolf drag the minecart. It's not that terrible. Yeah. It's really heavy! <laughs> <laughs> it's got wheels. Just <laughs> poorly poorly constructed. You're going to attach a fence to the bottom of the minecart. Yeah, you could put a fence in the bottom to create skis. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. It kind of reminds me... That's something we would add. Skis, skis. We've improved upon the submission by Brine. Brine? Brine. 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 Sounds like some sort of cream based dessert. Delicious. You're right. That absolutely means. We don't know what that means. Correct. We have something here submitted by PB Unit. Enchantments specific to different playing styles. Hello, I would like it if there were more enchantments for armor that would accommodate different play styles. Let me give you an example. All armor enchantments are currently aimed at survivability. But what about adding enchantments for increased damage for more confident people or enchantments for miners or farmers that would increase mining speed or crop yield, etc.? Obviously, these would come with a lack of survivability to balance them out. Hmm. But don't they already have those? I mean, they you can get, like, you know, the Different picks. They can get more loot and dig faster and I don't, don't know. break uh, as often. I think they, okay, so the only, thing, the only thing you can take from that is that there'd be lack of survivability added. Yeah. Give me enchantments to make me more susceptible to being stabbed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Got the <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> wow. Double whammy. Wow, that was pretty brutal. That was a little. Brutal. Man, not just not just a jerk. Um, <laughs> oh, ch- come on. Say yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So. 
Uh, next is Grow Giant Trees of Any Type. This was uh, submitted by SRJ26. We need the ability to put all types of saplings into a 2x2 two two pattern and make giant trees. Not only do I trees grow in real life much higher than Minecraft trees, but giant spruce trees would be immediately uh, find use in multiplayer spawn areas this coming month. Hmm. I don't know what they mean by that. Christmas trees? I guess. Oh, yeah. 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 I know I've hand-built giant Christmas trees before, but I'd love to just plop four spruce, spruce saplings down, hit them with bone meal, and maybe and have good enough for Rockefeller Center. What do you think? I like I, that. I think he's going too small. Four by four. Four by four. Let's do like a nine by nine. Whatever size you build, if you hit it with bone <laughs> meal, it grows a huge avatar. tree. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, gigantic, and then you can drill out a village inside your tree and go to town. Yeah, I like that. I do think like giant trees are pretty cool. Like whenever you go on servers and people have made massive trees, I do like them. I think think that's that's a cool idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a win. So, so like one other thing I would say is maybe you can craft a Christmas tree sapling. Maybe you get leaves and you put them like. You make like the tree out of leaves from the fir- from in the top six, and mm-hmm. then you put wood like a, you know, wood on the bottom, mm-hmm. and then you put snowballs. Yeah, and you put a snowball in the middle. Oh, yeah. nice! And then when you and then you get a Christmas tree sapling, and you can plant it. I'd be surprised it. if that didn't work already. Yeah, no, and no, no. and it grows it into a giant Christmas tree it. right there on your server, and it will yeah. die after Christmas. It's a seasonal event. So I hope uh, Din- Dinnerbone or Jeb, somebody hears this. Uh, this would just be a cool thing, even if it only lived for like two weeks before Christmas, yeah. right? You know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Have season and, and ruin things. the carpet as well. Yeah. <laughs> for the very jolly update. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> very jolly. How about uh, uh, since we're doing like Christmas themed stuff? What What about like stockings that act almost like a a chest, but you could put it like outside your house and your friends could come by on the server and like oh. put stuff in. That's already so that's Christmas. nice. Yeah. But maybe you couldn't open it till Christmas. Oh. You open it and you get all this loot. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And for the rest of the year, they could be used to commit robberies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> put them over your head. <laughs> you can put them on your head. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. I got a half a chicken breast in my stock. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Lampitos has uh, an idea for a one-way minecart. Villagers, pigs, cows, etc. Transportation is a super nightmare. The carts bump into things and turn around, and overall it's just annoying to deal with. One-way minecarts wouldn't turn around when they hit something. They would just stop, allowing the player to remove debris and then nudge the cart to get moving again. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. You are. I hate it when minecarts go the other direction and That's, make it so that Brent and Eric can't can't go down the rails I that I've just ridden down. Yeah, I want I want to go a different direction. Like, why why don't we get away from powered rails and move to powered carts? Like they were they were there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now that they're going to be attachable, if you have a powered cart, it shouldn't stop. Yeah. And I think they're improving something. that actually. Yeah, in the panel, I'm, they suggest that they are going to overhaul the minecart systems. That's yeah. right. I don't know if you guys have played Minecraft on Xbox, but the, the carts are a lot better than that. They're smooth. Very smooth. Oh. We have not. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We Check it out. Give it a go. We still haven't. I hear they only yeah. let people who go to uh, Paris and Minecon play it. I think so. so. It's yeah. Paris yeah. exclusive. We're it waiting is, until yeah. next year when they release it in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Like, how you much get hate mail like am I going to as well. It's weird. <laughs> Astra, just filter those out when you get them. I'm gonna tell Brent that they already released uh, Minecraft on the uh, Xbox in the US. Yeah, I'm like I know. So uh, next we've got, and this was another one submitted by Brené, but it's kind of awesome. So uh, testificate heads equals cheaper one. trades. <laughs> if you take the empty dead skull of a testificate and put it on. <laughs> It would cause trades to be cheaper and increase the likelihood of receiving more than one item per trade. That's However, sadistic, wearing yeah. a testificate head near an iron golem would cause the golem to attack you because you are a bloody murderer wearing the skull of a villager <laughs> like over this. your own. Yes. It, it, but So the testificates like are too stupid to realize it, though? 
<laughs> like it seems yeah. the Iron Golem maybe, might be fooled, but the testificate. Maybe they're not. trading out of fear. Maybe they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like but there's still some sort of spirituality in there. They think it's like I don't know, dead, like the undead or something. I don't know. Um, you didn't think that one through. I didn't at all. I started and just lost it. But can you say testificate heads three times fast? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> because I, you know, I I was thinking of an idea that would be really cool with testificates. Like, what if you could build a like almost a, an outpost at your home or village, and once you built that, like every so often, a testificate would come from a village with some items to that outpost, and then you could trade with them there. Oh, a trading post sort of thing. Yep. So that way, like, I have no village. Well, I'm, there's villages somewhere in my world, but I don't know where. So I'd have to just go search until I found them. But what if I could build an outpost and then they would... And then we just need Kodos, right? Then I could follow him back. We just need Kodos, right? <laughs> and, and stab and him and put on his head <laughs> and then infiltrate the village. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, give like me your Anakin stuff. Skywalker style. Follow yes. them back and infiltrate the village. Yeah. And then kill everybody. <laughs> You can have the Christmas sock in your head as well. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> I like this. We got a comment in the chat room from Raider Guy who said, Hey, Testificate, I'm wearing your dead friend's head. Give me more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I see Halloween costumes seems, in the future. Seems legit. Like, go down to Toys R Us and get your Testificate head to put on for... <laughs> 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 yeah, the total troll said, Hey, honey, I'm home. Oh, God, what did you do with my husband? <laughs> <laughs> He's lost his head. I'll show you. Ah, <laughs> uh, this just got wrong. Uh, okay, well, let's... Get wronger with this. Yeah. <laughs> Sightings. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. It's so intense. Woo. <laughs> tense. So the Can't first one we have these. is PC Gamer's interview with Blame the Controller. Huh? Last yep. week he was on uh, the TGS podcast. Yeah. This week he's on PC Gamer. PC he's Gamer, internet uh, famous. He is. Uh, there's an in-depth interview uh, with Blame the Controller uh, about the plans for 1.5 and the future of Minecraft, and he sees himself having a part in that future. Nice. Yeah. Didn't he say the new Kingdom of the Sky is getting close to being done? There's a teaser already on his channel. Yeah. So it's, it's close, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we spoke to him about it actually. He said about there's different chapters in the new one, and each chapter is like twice as big as the previous maps combined. Well, he said there's like four or five acts. Or yeah, there's like acts, that. and they're all bigger than the previous maps. Each act is crazy. Do you think he's going uh, Howard Hughes? Do you think he's going to end up like locked in his house with jars of urine, you know, while he makes <laughs> Minecraft maps? Yeah. Yeah, pro- definitely. It's, just, definitely, it's yeah. not urine, it's creative energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Helps you snipe. Yeah. <laughs> I got the reference, by the way. It's a good reference. Thank you. <laughs> I used to do a show. About yeah, we used to do a, one of those shows. So the next one, this is a link to Minecraft Creeper Knit Chucks. Katie, a.k.a. Pretty Sneaky, is selling Converse sneakers with hand-knitted creepers on them. Yours for just $130. (laughs) Isn't that like 8,000 euros? Yeah. (laughs) Around about, yeah. It does. (laughs) If you you buy it from Disney. Yeah, right. (laughs) 80 or 90 quid. We've gone old time. Oh, there it is. Uh, Wow. Oh, wow. So it does look like I could spend a lot of time on that. Yeah, definitely. So we're we're going to link to that in the show notes. And you too can have your creeper chucks. Yeah, very fancy. I'd wear them. I'd totally wear I'd just like shoes. (laughs) (laughs) That's nice. Yeah, maybe for Christmas instead of some half oppressed chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Now, would you wear them while playing Final Fantasy VII? Oh, is this a segue? I can sense it. Uh, (laughs) What if Final Fantasy VII's Midgar? Was in uh, Minecraft. No, Would that you wear them? That doesn't then? make sense. Midgar. <laughs> it really does. Shoes walls playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, if so, we'll give you the link to that map. And and also, <laughs> while you're wearing your shoes, you can go over and, and pick you up a shirt to go with them. And these are actually there's some really cool threadless uh, shirts. I might have 
remember us mentioning uh, the contest for the Minecraft shirts? Well, they're here and they are out. And they're really cool. And I, I really like them because they're not the normal, like, what you would think of Minecraft shirts, really. Yeah. Uh, I love the Attack of the Giant Creeper shirt. Like, I really want to get that one. And oh, that yeah. was done by uh, Nasty Z. I th thought I saw some other name. Alex Sullis? Is that uh, Solus from uh, Control Point days? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. We saw oh, wow. these. Yeah, these oh, were... Yeah, yeah, these were the, yeah, the very nice. Ones. They won awards. At the the yeah. first three on the left there, they, yeah, they brought them up on stage for making them. Oh, nice. Yeah, Mike, well, I would do, I'd probably wear those whilst watching some of my favorite programs on um, Netflix. <laughs> with my <laughs> shoes. Yeah, with my shoes on and Final Fantasy VII on the background. Yeah. <laughs> you know that you can get a free 30-day trial from Netflix if you just go to Netflix. Oh, no way. way. No, isn't that amazing? I had no idea. You go to Netflix.com slash... Uh, the Shaft? No, Dead Workers Party. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's in the show notes, too. I know, but I wasn't looking at the show notes. I was looking at the Threadless t-shirts. Netflix.com awesome. slash Dead Workers Party. You two can get a free one-month trial for Netflix and watch as many TV shows, movies, or videos as you can in that time frame. And then you can, of course... Uh, you know, pay for the next month, which is only, I believe, seven ninety nine dollars uh, these yeah. days. So go to Netflix.com slash Dead Workers Party and get your free trial. Hey, there you go. Sweet. You can watch uh, a TV show while you listen to your favorite audiobook on Audible. Yeah. <laughs> while we're <laughs> going. Have a cacophony. Yeah, just your mute, creeper mute, shoes mute and your TV threadless and shirts, your book. and you'll have plenty of access <laughs> to uh, getting rid of your trots. These while shirts are awesome. Uh, having like no pants. fan art of a person sat with their shoes and their t-shirt and their Netflix and their headphones on. Like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> all, the all the gear. All the gear. So and they have like like two browsers open. Like they're watching DWP movies and they're watching yeah. Hat Films videos over here and they're like, yeah. wow. And they're, overload. And all they're thinking is, where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Why is there chicken breast in my pillow? <laughs> <laughs> and then Notch comes crawling out from under their couch and really freaks them out. <laughs> What? Worst idea ever. <laughs> Eating half a piece of chicken breast. <laughs> Absolutely. Weird image. It's a lot of detail for one fan of. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot in there. <laughs> a comic strip. Uh, oh, oh y'all got here? someone knocking at y'all's door? Is somebody at your house or is that over here? What? Uh, come what in. Going on? Housekeeping. Oh, oh, hey. Housekeeping. It's the maid again. Ah, the maid. We love the maid. She the brings creditless the maid. Is she going to leave it on her pillow? Housekeeping. The fried the chicken breast? Yeah. Do you have chicken this time? You haven't paid her again, have you? Hungry fella. Chicken <laughs> breast for pillow? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, uh, let's see. We do have some housekeeping. First off is uh, next week. Join us again uh, a little bit earlier than uh, this week. Uh, we will have Bebop Vox from Minecraft Mondays live, uh, not in studio, but on air. Bebop. That guy's pretty cool. Well, actually. Bebop, yeah. All the cool people. Oh, he was there, yeah. Yeah, 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 he was yeah, there yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the cool people. Oh, by the way, did you know you guys were on episode 55, which is exactly half of 110? Ooh. Which is hey, weird. Wow. That wild. Pretty wild. That's pretty convenient. Let's, add, let's You're see. Just it. that well paced, guys. That's how good you are. Yeah. Isn't that good? Let's see. Uh, we pros. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. When was that, though? Let's see. I'm looking at the date. Uh, and I while he's looking that up, yeah. we can uh, mention that uh, you may see an album out soon uh, of all of our improv songs, or at least 15 of them, maybe 30 by then. Yeah, no we'll telling. have a lot of tracks on this uh, thing. But that, we may save that for volume two. So if you can think of a title, uh, send it in. Let us know. We're think trying to think of some cool titles for the album right now. Yeah. And uh, who knows? You may get uh, a prize or, or two, maybe some Shaft stickers that uh, we'll, we'll mail out uh, before Christmas 2013. And they're they're all completely improv. Th these are songs that we uh, play before or after shows. Uh, and uh, I've, I've gone back years and mined <coughs> through all of these recordings and picked out some really awesome songs uh, <laughs> that we've done. And, and, and in fact, the... Um, the the gambit of uh, of instruments is crazy. It's like we have accordions and uh, kazoo's, guitar, uh, cowbells, lots of, of egg, uh, cowbell, uh, slide <laughs> whistles. Uh, there will be two pages in the show, uh, not show notes, but the record, the album cover notes <laughs> on just the instruments that Eric's been playing over there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so Wes and I will have one line. But if you caught on YouTube, we put up our sharks song this yeah. week. Yeah, uh, that we did Pedro. improv before the show last week, yeah. and and uh, 
and we got a lot of positive feedback on it, which was kind of wacky. So we're 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 gonna go ahead and make the improv songs available. And it was, I mean, every a lot of people in the comments said, "Man, if you put it out an album, we'd buy it." it was like, really? These are kind of crappy songs. <laughs> I mean, and they're it, fun and and cool, but you know, it's just we never really thought. I don't know. So see, we're and now do Eric releases our our secret sauce there. Oh, someone said they'll buy it. Let's do it. Yeah. That's the sauce. Oh, you want an audible? Bu- yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's free. So, <laughs> trial is. So yeah, yeah. Do y'all do y'all have any housekeeping I want to let people know about that's coming up. Yeah, uh, for uh, actually, we've got an album coming up. We've well. got an album. All the trailer music. Uh, if you if you like the trailer music specifically, we're putting them all together in a big compilation, as well as the latest one, which is um, from the intro video at Minecon. Which is sort of a medley in itself. Yeah, yeah. Of all I, the I mean, a lot of them are available, but we're going to pack up in a nice. It's quite a one. cinematic experience. Cinema. Cinema. Yeah, it's a work it's in questionable, but we'll find uh, a way to make it work. If you haven't seen our other stuff before, check out youtube.com forward slash H A A T films. We're not going to go into why it's got two A's. It just is. You'll see on the heavy fingers. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, or Twitter. Follow us on Twitter and stuff. And Hat underscore films. We've actually got a podcast coming out tonight. So if you're watching this live, it's out. And it's you're, out in the, you're in the podcast groove. Get your Audible. You got your, your Netflix. <laughs> you got yeah, your shoes. You got your You have another and... podcast as well. Yeah. So, yeah. That's Hat Chat. Hat so, Chat. Yeah. Hat Chat. Uh, and a the Hatter near you it's been absent for a while I think that was enough actually plugins. yeah you you guys have kind of got something in common with us like trio and trio i mean the trio setup is actually quite rare isn't it yeah yeah, yeah it seems to be huh yeah usually usually two of them kill the other one yeah, so who do you think is see him first who do you think is the yeah. most in danger in your house <laughs> i'm worried now why did y'all both just look at me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well, there we've done it. I think we've wasted another hour of people's time. Really? <laughs> only, only an hour? We usually yeah. Yeah. we inspired. Time flies. We. I, I do think we were inspired. Do you feel inspired? Yeah. Overwhelmingly. <laughs> Overwhelmingly inspired. I'm gonna go and create art with chicken breast. <laughs> just gonna stuff in my pillowcase. Yeah. Hey, look at this pillowcase. It's just dangling from his hooks at head height. Yeah. So when we walk in rooms, we'll just hit. It's like an abattoir in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm inspired to make um, to make dry jokes. Because okay. I've been hanging out with these dry fellas and their dry humor. <laughs> yeah. And, Dry uh, in a wet country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really wet. Yeah, it's yeah. Balance. It's making up for it. Yeah, yeah. So, have you got? Uh, have you? What, what's on the horizon? What's coming out video-wise soon? Epic Adventure tomorrow. Um, lots more Trials Evolution. We love that game way too much. Yeah. Minecraft on Xbox. Minecraft on Xbox. We're also starting a Minecraft PC series, which is sort of like the success. Yeah. If you guys, you guys or anyone watching comes up with uh, any suggestions for maps, uh, let us know because we are looking for an awesome, awesome new uh, map just to create. Well, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't just a map, it was like mods and stuff. Yeah, like all yeah. that sort of stuff. Tech it or what was the thing, the wolves? Better than wolves? You guys ever played Feed. Better Than Wolves? No. No. We're about Feed the to beast. start Feed, Feed the that? Beast. That's We're about to start one. that one. Yeah, feed yeah. The beast. Have you guys ever delved into tech? We've never done any of the really complicated mod stuff. Uh, like, we're kind of a bit yeah. scared. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are too. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I keep trying to get them to play, and they're like, can we get someone to show us how? And I'm like, yeah. no, yeah. that's they the fun, like is us being stupid. You have them, yeah. and then that's Well, it. maybe we should do that. Maybe we should all six get on our Feed the Beast server and go to town. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it could just be open all the time. Watching the craft window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if y'all want to do that, I'll give yeah. y'all the address to it, and uh, y'all can log in and record whenever you want. Just you know, we may log in yeah. sometimes, and you might see us, and and oh, you'll walk, see me walking everywhere. by, going, "Look, I I made a shovel. Look at this great <laughs> mod. I I made a pick." <laughs> and they're like, "We just blew up your house with a nuclear bomb. Nice pick, buddy." <laughs> uh, yeah, but we haven't touched tech it or anything either, mostly because. Uh, it intimidates us. Yeah, and, yeah. and we've it, tried tech it, but in our own time, and we realize it's just not going to work. When part of your brand is being not particularly gifted at games, you that kind just, of it, that really <laughs> highlights it. That highlights yeah. it more than anything. So mm-hmm. you fail before you begin. Yeah. yeah, and and one map shout out suggestion that uh, uh, definitely need to mention right now during uh, December is Grinchmas by uh, Ron Smalik. Uh, it was Grinchmas. an awesome one. 
Yeah. Uh, we did it last year. Everybody Best should Christmas do it, though. Best Christmas map ever. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. It's full of joy. Well, that might. And who's. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, thanks a lot for hanging out with us once again. And, uh, it's all right. And we'll see it's you always next a pleasure. Week. And all together... Good day. Good, day. Good day! Congratulations, you made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at theshaft.deadworkers.com. Send questions, comments, and audio to theshaft at deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256 812 1010. Goodbye. Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We had a good A minor. That was beautiful. <laughs> Chopped. Oh. 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 I had a good shaft. Chopped. We had a shaft. We're going to put our shaft to bed. <laughs> Weird major key. Good night, sweet prince. We shaft. loved you the shaft. Shaft! <laughs> shaft! <laughs> oh. Bye! Bye! That was beautiful. Bye. That, was, that was fantastic. Dead Workers Party Network. Once you pop, you can't stop the shaft.